I know that's better. That's way better. Yeah. You're not going to do anything with that lady in the background. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Zoom in. Design your perfect woman. <laughs> right. Tread or lightly. Why do we do a clap at the end? Why do we do one at the beginning? Why do we? Why do we do one at the end? So I can edit it into a fart. Yeah, I can. Do you know what a tier list is? Yes. Do you actually? Okay, explain it to me. Pictures of things and you drag and drop them. Yes. And the one that you like the most goes at the top. Yeah. What is S? It's like S tier, like better than A tier. And where does E? What E is gone? Pictures of games, uh, board games that you play. Board games. Sorry, tabletop RPGs. I have a load of tabletop role-playing games, Aww. but you've never experienced any of them. The like seed of what? What's the uh, the twinkle in my eye? This the starting concept. Seed in your. Are we doing like an objective graphic design of the front cover? <coughs> Sorry. What? And we're rating it objectively rather than what you would like to play. It's yes, because the... I would like to play probably none of them. Sorry. Probably. We have the first one, which is the game seven one five zero two B. <laughs> I thought it was when, when I, I saw it. This I is a real on. classic. <laughs> so I am somewhat familiar with this game. Um, I've not played it. I would like to. I really like the artwork. It reminds me of... My brain is saying, say Wind in the Willows. It's like what would be considered cottagecore now before they had a concept <laughs> of what cottagecore yeah, was. Back before we're before um, to mainstream. <laughs> so we'll go high, we'll go A tier. Uh, yeah. Delta Ooh, Green. Oh, this oh, is oh. the older... Title screen. I don't know how we stop that. There we go. Oh, good. Uh, also, you need to cut this out because. Uh, I can't cut. It's not Photoshop. I can't like get a little <laughs> pair of scissors and just, just snip put a the white, ads away. Just put anyway, this is Delta Green. All right. I hate um, it already. What if it was like the X Files, but also like more cosmic horror? This is what I'm playing at the moment. A little. That's pretty fun. I, I haven't finished absorbing it visually. Oh. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It is a weird mix of aesthetics because on on the right hand side, I guess, you've got this kind of the Matrix era. The text is absolutely fuggers. And then on the other side, it's like traditional, I want realistic illustration. Fucking bizarre. Well, this is very Geiger Cosmic Horror. It's very Geiger. It's very Kafkaesque. <laughs> Happy medium, let's do C. Space Ooh, in the dark. I like that. <laughs> do you want some context? No. No context? Okay. I like, so the, um, these serifs of the font is nice <laughs> because it kind of, it's like little, little chunks and it matches like all of the, um, the red, oh. the shape, the shapes does, all work well. Does serif mean the, like, the little angular bits on the tops and the bottoms? Yeah, so um, a sans serif would be... Without serif? Yes. B. No. B. B? B A. Too. I want to say something. Oh. I, initially, I was like, that's a pretty cool cover. The more I look, the more I don't like this like low, especially the face, I think. It's very 2010. It's the first realistic post-Holocaust uh, beer and pretzels role-playing game, and it's post-apocalyptic, and humanity is dead. And you play as uh, crawdads, which are crawfish. It looks like a political illustration that you would see in like the Daily Express. We've got like anthropomorphic animals, and there looks like there's some kind of power hierarchy going on here. Oh, and like this would be labelled like that would be Thatcher, probably. And then like the one underneath would be like me. <laughs> Thatcher, and then like. Immigrants, blue hair, and like young people. I just want to say off, off the bat here, the whole premise of this video is ripping into people who are far more experienced and successful artists than I am. For personal opinion, I am legally an idiot. There we go. I don't like it, Dita. Call of Cthulhu and an old one. The text is giving Aladdin. It is. The balance of it is really nice. Um, they could have really think? fucked it up with like tentacles and that, made it more spooky. Oh, I kind of like that it's dark and mysterious okay, yeah. though. The text could, could be more uh, esoteric. So you're, you're saying, oh, it needs to be more esoteric. Make the letters out of tentacles. Graphic design 101. 
A. Okay, I already, ha- I reckon, already can see things that piss me off. When things are put in quotes and the quote mark itself counts as a character, so everything's lined up with the quote mark. This. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, because like the, the classic would be, what if this was green? Uh, well, we'll... You're gonna be there for a re- Oh, you can use a little paint bucket. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Right. Aren't you? Where are we going on the green? The aquamarine, I think. To... And like brighter, like- No, that's perfect, that's perfect. Right there, up a little bit, like uh, brightness. Can't wait for this to not work. Iconic. It's doing one pixel at a time. Oh, God. Yeah, no, that's better. That's way better. Um, and a mouse. This would be much a shitty craftsman blames his tools. When we were in year seven, as part of our English literature mm. exam for that year, we had to design a new front cover to like 1984? Yeah, 1984. The H.G. Wells one. We had to design a front cover for a book and it, it was so bad because nobody knew what they were doing because everyone was like, it's like, oh, I'm 12 and I've just found out what pain is. Yeah. And they all came out looking like this. When in doubt, a few more layers will do. Yeah, is that a basketball down at the bottom? Oh, I don't if that's a basketball. Mm. It's got the same uh, kind of aesthetic as the... <laughs> The snowman. It's not got the same aesthetic as the snowman, but it does have the same grainy texture, which is yeah. nice. You're not going to do anything with that lady in the background. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Zoom in. Design your perfect woman. <laughs> so I feel like her hair should be... Green. Green. Uh, and maybe... Me watching in devastation as you draw the complete opposite woman to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Um... Her hair smells? Yeah. Is that what's happening here? It's the future where people are still smelly. It's the future where um, you can get hair mods. The game designers of Tomb Raider are like violently taking notes. <laughs> Love it. Save as new hit game. Mm-hmm. Cut this out. Can you like s- retract these? Can I have, like black mm-hmm. bars? Uh, oh, also- don't worry. I will change what they say. Also, can you retract <laughs> this, please? D. Hate it. I still don't like that it's red, but at least they've added a bit of a border around Well, I mean, it, if, if it was cyberpunk red and it was like... Green. <laughs> green. <laughs> is that an example of cognitive dissonance? If it was if it was called cyberpunk red, if it was green. What? A B, subject to change. So this is a, like Warhammer 40k one, if you yeah. know what that is. Is this in the Mortal Kombat era? It's a bit after that, I think. Okay, I feel like they had a lot of um, women, right? No disrespect. They can have those. I mean, let me clarify. They had a lot of, like, <laughs> like leather-clad women that were, like, more endowed, more well endowed than maybe I am. It is um, th- that more that kind of a uh, yeah era and, and they vibe. Would- they look scary. <laughs> I don't like beveled font though. That's just, just a person. It's meant to be like gothic. Oh, no. I'm so just rating they're... them on how nice they look. How you yeah. should think a little bit deeper. Expand no, your never, mind. No, I'm not rating the game design. Tip. I'm not touching that. There's like symmetry. There's balance. I like it. Deadlands. The drawing is nice. The style is nice. I like the text at the top. It, it makes sense, like, thematically. I feel like we have this uh, agreed yeah. understanding that cowboy themed have to have that text, that yeah. font. I don't like the border. Yeah, I, I was think the say. border's like, the, they could have done something really nice with that border, like, continued on the wood etching theme, but they went like. It's like Margarita Pizza background. <laughs> a tier, but at the bottom. It's Delta Green again, but this is a more modern version, and this is the Agent's Handbook. Who are the players? Agent's Handbook. It's a spy game. This is this is a much nicer cover than the other one. That was <laughs> so horrible. But that, that to me conveys like more cosmic horror. This is more consistent, internally consistent. Fern forests that are somewhat lit by like an eerie mm-hmm. white light makes me think of X-Files. C tier. Uh, yeah, at the top. Right. Are you ready for the next one? Uh, yeah. Diana, warrior princess, coming to- With her to, tummy out. With her tummy out with to save the world. With her boob coming out. <laughs> you can take can take on the role of uh, Diana herself, um, her loyal sidekick, Fergie, 
Mm-hmm. Or you can play as a reoccurring guest star, such as Bonnie Prince Charlie, or oh you can God, Wild God. Bill Gates, um, while fighting to thwart the evil schemes of the nefarious Queen Elizabeth, Thatcher, the undead sorceress, uh, and War God Landmines. I think I hate it more than the fish one. Um, yeah, no detail, don't like it. Detail. Get rid of it. <gasps> Ooh. Dogs in the vineyard. She's got some kind of room. You could say that it's a room. Is it offen- I don't want to be offensive if that's not a room. It's a reimagining of the West, and you go town to town, delivering mail, doing religious ceremonies, but also you're trying to root out like sin. It's very episodic. You're going like village to village. There's like a problem in the village, and you're trying to solve it. Mm. And it can be you can play it as very non-fantasy. You're just doing that. Or you can do that, like, the reason why the people are sinning is because they're possessed by demons. A tier above Mouse Really? Yeah, I think it's really nice. It's <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. No, do you know what? That's okay. The only thing I don't like is that they've written Dungeons and Dragons on it at the bottom. Yeah. It's just like, that was an afterthought. A hundred percent. If you were like, it's got to have, it's got to pop. You would do this bigger, like, up here. There was some kind of, like, bureaucratic decision made. Yeah. Some corporate bigwigs told them yeah, that they, they, were like, they were like, it's, the, not, yeah. it's not going to sell because people don't know what D&D is because they don't call it D&D and Stranger Things. They call it Dungeons and Dragons, so people don't know what D&D is. Yeah. So you just slap it on the front. And then the artists have gone, no, we're not doing that. So the people who don't do the artwork and aren't artistically experienced were like, don't worry, we'll fucking do it. So we're putting this in like F tier, right? <laughs> A lot of people are going to be upset no matter where you put this. After dark, subject to change. <laughs> I love it. I think the rules for this are really short and the, there's like race, no, violence, yes. Has it got anything to do with tech? No, but it, I, I can't remember if it is old or it's like a throwback to early, like... Is he bowling? He's bowling. You're playing <laughs> dragons who bowl. This is a very evocative, like... Yeah. What's it evoking? V- it's evoking vibes. Okay. What do you mean? Like, it's sexy? When I, I say I mean, evocative. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that. Okay. If you want to say that, uh, you yeah, can say this... that. Somewhere in C tier. <gasps> I love it. I love it so much. Ooh, really nice. It is okay, really... I found something I hate. <laughs> if you are going to make something asymmetric, you have to make it obviously asymmetric, otherwise it will look like a mistake. Oh. So I would say Forbidden La- the the title is oh. just on the cusp of looking like it was a mistake. I think that at top of the L should be tucked a little bit more into the F and the O, but that's oh, just... Oh, I see. That's I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I hadn't. That had like not. I had not noticed that at all. I know that's because you're not legally designer. ill. It's top yeah, really I love the color palette as well. It's so pretty. It is. It is very nice. You've not read LFC. No. It's very like modern fantasy. More different ideas. You know. Oh, yeah. We've let we've let women write some of it. We've let women design the characters, and they're all like. They're yes, all like they're all bisexual. Uh, can I please draw attention to the hips? We put this up. And your first instinct is to drag this. Look nice at lady. her. It's an all-girls school or something. It's like St. Trinian's. Written by a man. Written by a man. Could have told you that. Just did. Well, maybe. <laughs> you have anything else to say about it? Yeah. It? Um, centralize the fuck. She kind of looks like that girl on TikTok that I'm obsessed with that does really good impressions of British girls. Does anyone have gum? This is like, you know the Bliss wallpaper? What? The oh. Bliss wallpaper with the, that's what it's called, the hill. Oh! This is like, if you panned slightly to the left, this would be what you see, but they just cut it out. <laughs> uh, uh, it's kind of really funny, but if we were doing it on what's funny, then the whole thing would have to change. Eat it. Cult. 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 <laughs> okay, Award fa- winning I've seen game. my first mistake. Cult. <laughs> Strong concept. I would say. Dark Christianity vibes. If we look in the background, it's clearly tower blocks, but we've also got like gears, so it's like a Ooh. steampunk. It's walking through a but, fuck yeah. cloud. Because of the sewer, because the city sewers, because everyone knows that sewers in the city are fucking shine, especially if you live in Portsmouth. I like it, I think it goes up in A tier, it's beautiful. Really. Why do you think that? 
because her boobs are coming out. A tier is becoming somewhat similar. Maybe I have preferences with my color palettes and my fonts. You're playing as an anime mate. This one's a robot and this one's a child. We've got the three main archetypes, the three genders of anime women. Is she holding a penny? She's holding like a serving tray because yeah, she's, she's a maid. Because maid. Oh, it makes me want to watch, um, oh, fuck it. Nashia Vision Shafton or whatever it's called. No. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Nichi Joy? Yes, thank you. Yeah. What's the one with the toothbrush? That's a different one, isn't it? Because I watched Nichi Joy thinking it would be the one with the toothbrush. No, the one in the toothbrush is. Well, it's Back like... on my guitar. Oh, top of C tier. I do, I do not like to look at it. But if I have to look at it, it's, it's okay. Is this. It's this like serious and like gut wrenching and like we're we're worrying about the safety of the characters, or is it like kids and we're like having fun? Bottom of B to yeah, cool, Morgbog. Love it. Love it. Yeah, really, yeah. really good, really nice. A to. I really like when text goes very purposefully goes off the edge. It's Not like if it, if it did it like on one side, or oh, I'd throw up. But the, when it's doing it all around, they've done a cyberpunk version. Mother ship. <gasps> Oh, sci-fi horror. Mmm, that goes A tier as well. A tier? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Numenaria plays good. Oh, I like the colours, but I would say that because it's purples and blues. Purple, teal, and your light. Like... It's a very dynamic picture. Again, the composition is lovely. So this is like a fantasy. She's got a sword, but it's got like technology in it. This is a more modern version of that. I think I prefer the like older version of it. His shoulder. What's it? Pads, yeah. Remind me of that meme where it's like unexplained phenomena in uh, sci-fi and it's like a cube that just has some lines through it. <laughs> I hate it because I've also done that in art. Yeah, I think A tier and I A -tier. think it goes um, above Mouse Guard. Above, <laughs> Mal above Mouse Guard and M Mork Borg? Uh, yeah. Wow. Mouse okay. Guard is, you know. It's fine. So that's that's only fine. That's like not that, that, that hasn't changed your life. I mean, I like it because it's cute. That isn't. That's not. It's not a, gonna be cute though, is it? They're like wor little warriors and they commit crimes. They try and keep the other me safe. Yeah, by doing mur by murder killing people. They don't murder. <laughs> I hate that shade of purple. Yeah. I think actually it would have been way stronger if they'd expanded the image. Yeah. I've just had the instead of the purple border. I, I really like how they've drawn the fire. The little with the little like bits that come off. It's very yeah. um it's very Pinterest. Pinterest. I'll I'll, you can see I'll throw up a thing and, okay. and explain. <laughs> uh B tier, but above um yeah. There? Yeah. Cool. Wrong see I, we're like I'm I'm mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love it. Ooh. So this is set in Fallen UK. It's Rusmog's head. He's been made prime minister, and then through some actions, he's triggered the apocalypse. Is Jacob Rees-Mogg the what? Am I thinking of the right guy? He's like a Victorian villain. <laughs> I would never want to get married because she would steal all of my money. That one. Yes. I don't know why it came out as in my mentions. <laughs> in, in the, the deal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Jacob Rees-Mogg is a caricature of himself in real life, anyway. I'm not used to seeing, well, any game design, but specifically ones that look like this. A tier because it's interesting. Ooh, whereabouts? If you keep putting um, stuff above Mouse Guard. No, I'm going to put come. it just before the Cthulhu one. Again, we've got some afterthoughts happening at the bottom. What? It's the guy's face. I've only just clocked the guy's face. Yeah, he's got the same face as somebody I know. You. No! He looks like McNulty, who looks like you. Oh. Interesting yeah. drone design. Yeah. I've not seen drone. Um, Drones that have a little hat on. The Oblivion drone. But he's got, got a little what, fedora. What, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> uh, what, what about he, when they come down and it looks at Tom Cruise? And it goes... And it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> zoom into the... Zoom into the, the text has been cut out of something. Uh-oh. The text has been cut out of an existing... Uh, wait, is this not actually... I think that... I think this might, this might not be real. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, maybe it's not real. My well-trained eye. I can spot a bootleg when I see one. Okay, E tier, because I can't read it. It's... <laughs> so this is for our Portuguese viewers. 
How many, how many of those right. do you suspect we have? Yeah. But it's Tales from the Loop, it's A tier. I'm trying to separate it from the art book and not think about every other masterpiece this guy has made. I'm gonna put above Mouse Guard just for a standalone image. It's, okay. it's just nice. Oh, it's a bit smooth. <laughs> it looks like that Baz magazine or whatever it was. Baz magazine. No, nah, it's called something else. Um, underground punk zine that they made and it was called like Baz or Biz or something. I misremembered the magazine. It was not called Biz, it was called Zap, and it wasn't an underground feminist publication from the 1980s. It was just a magazine that had vagina jokes in, and they're not even good jokes. Oh, it does look really similar. <laughs> this is the best British voice acting I've ever heard. Same vibe. The oval at the top that has teenagers in, it's poking off Let's go Dita, but the top of Dita. Top of Dita. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like the menu from a fancy restaurant. I'm specific, I am talking only about the restaurant that I used to go to with my parents. Oh, so it's a map game where you define the struggles of a community living after the collapse of civilization. So it's a, a comfy rebuilding game. I would say top of Dita. Top of Is it raised? It, this is raised, Ooh. yes. You fucking watch your mouth. Like if you flayed, like a yeah, and there's all the muscle tissue and stuff. So we we were agreed it's going into the best time was revised edition. Oh, this looks like yeah, this looks like a collage that like you'd make in art school. If you yeah. have, if you have a lot of thoughts about society, you would make something like this. Part of the game is. Uh, standing back from the table and f trying to throw dice and get them to land on the table and then the slap phase where everyone has to slap their hands down and try and cover up as many dice as they can. C tier and I want to put it um, in between Delta Green and the heresy thing. Torchbearer 2nd edition. Oh cute, wait what is that? It's like a worm of some description. I thought they were carrying a wardrobe. <laughs> Carrying a walk. <laughs> it's a fantasy medieval game about moving houses. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the logo for Torchbearer. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot going on. Yeah, I think it's nice. I like I like the the worm. The water where are we, worm. Where are we going? Top of beta. Top of beta. Yeah. It reminds me of playing like computer games before I really knew how to use a computer. A, a true like, and this is not prolific. Everyone knows this. A true test of how good a piece of design is, is when I can look at it 30 years later and be like, I may not like the font and I may not draw spaceships like that, but visually the composition still really works because you can tell like it's old, but it yeah. still it still looks good. It's still a really nice piece of art. Yeah, there. There? Yeah. Boom. Someone we've met here was saying that they know people and they like were really into this and they like filed their teeth down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the story? Imagine then? how good it must be mm -hmm. if it makes you want to file your teeth down. <sighs> the V and the E is like the vampire teeth. Oh yeah, so it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna use a stroke on your typeface, the letters need to be thicker because the stroke will eat into the letter itself, the U in masquerade. You can barely see the right hand side. Ah. I think in between Dragon Game and Heresy. Oh my god, I love it! A tier. A tier. This is meant to be a W. I can tell. But well, I can see how it might this? be. Oh yeah, true. We're done? Mm -hmm. That's all of them. There are some games where I'm like, oh yes, that's a role playing game. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't think that Cyberpunk is a role playing game. Well, what means role playing game to you? Oh. <laughs> dragons? Me medieval things. You know there's like medieval like video games? Have we played any? Not really. Mm. Oh, we played The Witcher. You don't like games with infantry management. I don't... Mm, I don't know though because... And this is farming. <laughs> you don't like games where it's like, these boots give me plus 2% to like my attack speed. Yeah, I like games... I'm just describing story of seasons where you are working towards hot waitress Muffy being your wife, but you have to work backwards, and it's like, okay, well she likes egg tart, so like I need flour, so I need wheat, so I need the wheat seed, and it's like, okay, 
I'm combining all of those things to um, acquire Muffy as my wife. If you watched this the whole way through, uh, you watched all 17 hours of this, oh. uh, you know that you should be buying the Forbidden Lands. I have no idea if the game is any good, but front cover. I was about to say, slash. can we watch a trailer? Cause, <laughs> can we watch a trailer? Because I'm yeah. uncultured. It's done. Uh, um, it's, I'm just going to end it. This one. Bye! What's it evoking? It's evoking vibes.